Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Thanks, but I was just going to stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Just hurry back. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Try doing it your whole life. And Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the skeeviness is all polite to your face. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. What the Amber family considers entertainment looks a lot like what I consider homework. Salvage it. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight.
So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. Alright, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. It's off to the table with you. How many cabinets do you need? Glasses. Damn. The embers are fancy as shit. Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe... Maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh... Thanks. They say all news is local, but damn. I bet there's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it afterwards. Hope Drew's okay, though. Hmm. 
how to clear browser history, followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel. Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. I know I did the right thing, giving Drew his money back, but... Man, I wouldn't want to be on this guy's bad side. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Uh... It's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. I wonder if this is a family heirloom. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle, right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I, I think. Time to light some candles and bust this joint up a bit. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. 
With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel! Ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? Stop it, Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know! You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker! Excuse me? We saw you. Yesterday. At the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard but I need you to trust me. No offense, Mr. Amber, but I think we trust our eyes more than you. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you, and I let my wife's compassion get the better of you. Oh? What kind of person is A that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. <laughs> <laughs> 